Hi everybody, Carol here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making an art journal page and uh, I have really had to speed it up and um, do a lot of uh, editing out because it was lasted so long and I apologize for that but I'm trying trying to make it short for you but um, this is starting off by I put some gesso on some cardstock I'm just using cardstock and um, it worked fine and I'm taking an embossing folder that to me looks like a sunrise uh, or you know a big sun burst but um, it probably could be used for other things but I'm just spreading ink all around that and yellows and oranges and I'm going to do the bottom as well as the top and I'm going to put in the sheet of paper I'm using and then another piece of cardstock underneath that so that I'll get two prints for one and uh, from the top and the bottom now some of the ink kind of Oh, I don't know uh, was rough looking and I just took a makeup sponge and smoothed very with a very light touch smoothed some of that it was mostly the orange and just kind of smooth some of that out and then dabbed on some more ink where there was some lacking that didn't um, didn't get onto onto the embossing folder so I'm putting in both sheets of paper sliding it through a little bit of a tight fit but it worked and um, squishing that on out I wish I hadn't had thought of uh, taking some of that ink off the bottom so that I wouldn't get the straight line there that I got but I do go back and fix it later and uh, you can kind of tell the difference in the two prints uh, in the circle one has a larger circle in the center and one has more of a, a pin drop top uh, pinpoint kind of in the center but um, to me that doesn't really matter but so when I when I took it out I saw there was a little line on the left hand side you know that somehow there was a, a streak there and I went back and kind of filled in with that and then highlighted some of the ink just maybe to give more color where I wanted some and uh, I don't even know that I'll use the one on the right anytime soon but um, it's there for use I tried to cover up that um, straight line with the ink as you could see and it, it worked out just fine and there will be other layers of print and stamping that'll just cover that straight line up and um, so now I'm going to stamp uh, randomly and all around uh, with different big old background stamps and uh, these are all from Stampin' Up but it doesn't matter use what you have uh, I'm not a dealer and never have been I don't even know if these are still available um, but this is the chicken wire I'm using it with gray and um, I'm want it to be so faint that I even stamp off on another sheet of pa paper to take some of that ink away so that will be a very light look and then rather than just have a square of chicken wire I just cut out some paper could have torn a paper towel but just cut out some paper to give it an ir irregular border um, so that um, it will look random and um, some of the irregular lines uh, on the outside where the uh, stamp is and then a little bitty piece sticking up just kind of in the middle at the you know on, to, on the right hand side not in this case but on the other one so that it will really just be streaky and random now with all the stamps that I use today they, there is a definite directional pattern to it like this is straight up and down so I wanted it to be straight up and down I didn't want it to be one leaning one way and one leaning the other and so I tried to keep that in mind to keep the stamp straight even though it is random for sure and then this will give you a little bit closer up look at how that printed off the next stamp I will use is a kind of what I call an argyle a bunch of diamonds together and again it's directional I need to keep it straight uh, so I'll be uh, there's the chicken wire and, and you can see that showed up really well and I like that look and um, so I'll do the uh, what I call argyle and uh, this time I'm using orange but I didn't want it to be too bright so I'm stamping it off then I can see where some ink didn't even get on there so I put some more but then just um, picked up a piece of paper and blotted it off it was easier than picking that big old heavy thing up and uh, blotting it off so here again is my torn paper just to give it a an irregular ed edge and um, 
Then I'll put on some more. You have to kind of keep in mind uh, you're want to, wanting to put ink on the uh, when when it's turned over on the uh, rubber side of it, put it on the right hand side so when you turn it back over it will be on the right hand side of the card. So you kind of have to think just a little bit as to what part of the stamp you're going to ink up. And um, no sense in inking the whole thing. Uh, so going to that trouble or wasting the ink. Now this is a script, I think it's actually French, but uh, a, a script stamp and um, again I'm just going to take off some of the ink I want it to be very pale and then there's where that extra little piece is so what makes it um, irregular on the left hand side and on the right hand side and uh, again I need to keep that halfway straight I, don't, I guess you have to but I just thought it would look more co cohesive if everything is kind of going in the same direction instead of all over the place so I, um, I stamped up there and then I'm going to stamp a little bit more of the print down on the bottom and I cut another wavy line um, paper just a piece of copy paper and um, so I'm going to stamp down at the bottom and put another piece there it's just it doesn't have to be complicated does it it's just use what we have and and try to get the best look you can and then you can always go back and cover it up with something else if you don't like the look so uh, I'm going to turn it upside down put a little more script um, there and um, the little uh, cutting on that piece of scrap paper something was sticking out more than I wanted it to so here we go wiping off some of the ink turning it yet again turning it again <laughs> just kind of whatever uh, fits your fancy at that moment if that is that moment what seems right to you at that moment so anyway so um, I did like those and I do like the very subtle look and you can see you can see the orange what I call argyle and then the the print and then the chicken wire and um, I was just showing some paper that I have uh, that's out of a paper set with these browns it has a lot of cogs and and um, gears and I thought I was going to use that but I changed my mind I was cutting out some of those gears that'll have to be for another day but um, I was looking at the different there are some that I cut out and I thought I have a punch for gears I thought that that might uh, make a cute card and our um, art journal page but I'll have to do that some other time I changed my mind midstream so there you go I chose the darker of uh, those two sheets of paper and then what I, I didn't show that I did off camera was I stamped this stamp set is called stay tuned and it's about a it you know features a vintage television set and a vintage radio has some really cute sayings and I'm just showing that I use the makeup sponge to go around the edges and highlight the edges I use some orange in different places I use some turquoise because I think turquoise and orange are very vintage looking colors I mean they, they go together to make a vintage look and then I also went around all of these little squares and uh, the speech bubble to edge those and um, the speech bubble says stay tuned so I cut the middle of that um, TV out the screen you might have seen that and noticed that here I'm gluing it all down I had put um, Tombow glue on earlier and let it set up so that it would be repositionable and there you can see where I cut the screen out and centered it right on the very center of that sunburst and I thought it maybe looked a little odd to have the legs I don't know with the sunburst shining between the the legs and I just went back and covered it up didn't really have to I just thought it made it a little maybe less confusing or something so then there is the stay tuned there's the radio here's the little block that says life is a test it is only a test so uh, I thought that was um, pretty good for an art journal to, usually you want to have something that makes you think on some of the some of the sentiments there now the little box down at the bottom says you're my prime time favorite I wanted it to look more art journaly so I just um, went around each one of those lines with a black marker 
and uh, highlighted them, I glued that onto a, another piece of white cardstock so that would be easier to control, easier to cut out. And I'm cutting around those black lines and tried to make them thick enough that I could cut between them and have some black on either side. And so as I'm cutting them out, instead of keeping them in a block, I'm going to spread them out. And I just like that look better. And plus it kind of fills in the space. But uh, as I get them there, since I had, an, oh yes, and that one didn't get a lot of black ink at the top, so I just went back and tried to mark some more. And uh, since that was put on with a um, repositionable glue onto another sheet of paper, I'm just peeling that uh, back piece of cardstock off. Still very sticky. Love that glue. It is so good. And um, then just sticking these down. So uh, that's pretty much it. Well, I have a little more stamping to do. And by the way, I am hitting to where those sun rays are because I put the glue on those sun rays so that they would stick down. Now I'm bringing out my Prismacolors, colors and um, I was showing that this is such an old set. It has Barol, B-E-R-O-L, Prismacolors. colors. I don't, Prismacolors. colors, I don't think they... I don't know that they're Barole anymore. So I was just showing that these are these are vintage themselves. So uh, anyway, I'm using a Versamark uh, sticky glue, ink, not glue, but a stinky ink, sticky ink pad to just put some little bitty things. And you can see them shining. They're little circles, uh, little dots, and then some little bitty dots, little clusters of three. And you can see them shining on the paper. It, it's not ink in itself but it um it does the uh, you know highlight the color of the ink underneath it and but it is clear it just makes it a little darker so i'm just doing another little touch putting some turquoise on these bottom uh words because they kind of blend in with the turquoise edge and same way with the yellow on the others now i just wanted to do one more little touch and that's with the uh, texture paste and I'm putting some dark yellow on one which is a mustard color and then I'm using bright bright yellow on the other and I'm just stirring them up and I have this little um, stencil that I bought a thousand years ago I think the package said 79 cents on it it's really little checked but I'm turning it on its side so again we'll have the diamond look and uh, so I'm putting the dark uh, mustard color up in the corner some more um, just you know random kind of pick a place that you think it would you could use some fill in uh, putting that under the saying then down in the little left hand corner what's left of that I'm putting some bright yellow and then when I peel it up I realize that uh, it's just kind of a straight line it doesn't look random at all so I'm taking my fingernail and just scraping some of that texture paste off then I use the packaging for that stencil just as a protection of getting uh, not getting any uh, ink on that white cardstock. Again, had to scrape some off. Uh, same thing here. You can see that I'm getting it onto the brown, which isn't horrible, but I decided to go ahead and take it off with my fingernail. Kind of go back and scrape off some more of the little straight edges. And get my paper towel. I got some on the white cardstock. There we go. Just kind of want it to be a little more rugged looking and uh, not something that just came straight out of the stencil. So there you go. I'm telling you, it's pretty much done. I know it's been a, a rush and I've been talking fast, but uh, I didn't want it to last too long. But I'm going to do a little close up here, let you see some of the finer details of um, those designs. And so that's pretty much it. I'm just showing you some photos and I turn, turn it up real bright here so you can see that is the true color of that yellow. It's really bright yellow. And um, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more of these, let me know. And at the end, uh, there will be some other videos you might like to see and a chance to subscribe with the round, uh, by clicking the little round button icon. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye-bye.